It's so crazy. <laughs> I can't fucking blow up a balloon. Alright, we can make him happy. <laughs> Choice! Give back. He's happy. What's the happiest one we've ever had? <laughs> hey guys, Ben from Media's Play Games. Today, give you my freeze deck profile. So, we decided to change it up a little bit, of course. We're still playing yellow because we're cucks. Um, but we went with the Universe 7 Freezer that everyone's been playing. Um, I don't own the UI Goku, I used to, I sold it a while ago. Um, so we're just using the really bad Goku. So yeah, uh, this, I think this deck plays 17, um, targets for this to pitch. So you're definitely always going to have cards in hand unless your name's Joshua Amos. Um, so yeah, we play 4 Shigesh because we're not scared of Cronoa. Cronoa's a little bitch, um, but it's, it's kind of okay. Um, we don't play Kid Goku because you play these ones, which is the same thing. Uh, four Master Roshis. Master Roshi is really good. One mana, uh, uh, well, one energy negate. Um, and yeah, of course you can pitch with uh, your Freezer. I only play three Successor of Hope. I felt like playing four was a little bit bricky, even though you can like just search out your whole deck. Um, it's just that your ratios have. Oh, wait, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, just because uh, your ratios. I don't know. Yeah. Master ratio. Master ratio. <laughs> but, uh, too bad ring because we everyone hates Hercule right now. Hercule will tap themselves out and you just bad ring their uh, Zeno button. And then they can't really do anything against it. And plus when you're going for games, it's pretty good too. Um, four flying Nimbus because you're playing yellow. Of course we tutor in the Bardock package. So the uh, Progenta, I think it's pronounced. The Progenta. You want me to have a look? No, it's alright. It's Progenta. It's, pro, it's progenitor. No, everyone's been yelling at me. Oh, okay. Progenitor. Progenitor. Uh, so yeah, progenitor. Um, you don't play these against red. Like you just mana these against red because if you're playing these, then they just change Zeno you and your whole hand's gone. Um, of course, four of the scrambling assholes. Um, I do have like the the new uh, rarity of these, but I didn't want to put them in Tons' deck because I don't like Tons that much. Um, I play two of the uh, Kid Gohans, uh, yeah, the Sun Gohans. These ones have barrier, so you don't need to worry about your stuff getting hit. Um, and then I play two of the Gokus with barrier. Um, mainly reason why is because these ones are just so much stronger. I know they don't have barrier, but the thing is, late game, you prefer to have four of these than you would prefer to have four of these. So these are the Indomitable Dis Dynasty Super Saiyan Sun Gokus. Um, and then four of the ultimate potential Super Saiyan 2 Sun Gohans, which are just like Shigesh Kid Gokus, they pop rest mode things. Um, I play four abrupt breakthrough Sun Gokus. Now, this is a real hit and miss card. Um, like, it's there when you don't need it, but it is there when. Um, it's there when you don't need it, but there when you need it. I don't know. It's a really weird card. But um, it's just, if they manage to like remove your field, like with, I don't know, some way, um, it's there just to play off, you know, if you're playing it off these. Um, and I play two of the starter deck ones, because you can use these to awaken, um, and, but you can swing once and then just restand it by using this ability. Um, I play four of the three of these hand Gokus, um, the UI big one. The main reason why you're playing with these is because they can tap your opponent's energy, which is huge. Like... Um, so, when you play this card, you can tap three of their battle cards or three of their energy. Um, and it has to be off swap, of course, it's the only way you're playing it. Gets around barrier, triple strike, double, dual attack. Yeah, triple strike, dual attack. Um, and the SCR, you are playing, I think it's 23, 23 targets to get this off. So it's just mainly if you draw into like all your <laughs> negates and all that where you don't really get this ability off. Or if your name's Joshua Amos. And then two Scientist Foo, because Scientist Foo is pretty much the best black card. Um, you can run this at three, just because how much you are dropping off your leader. Like, you're dropping every single, like, turn off it. Um, I could recommend this playing at three, maybe jumping, uh, bumping down the Gohan to, to three rather than playing at four. But yeah, that's it for the deck profile, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, we're working on some new stuff soon. Hopefully, we can get it all out. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. What's my outro again? Dean's leaving as a cock, keep that in. <laughs>
Get the Naruto music playing. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to mine. Why? Uh, <laughs> 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 